Hey, this is Frank Yosa, CEO of Ketone. Today I'm going to do a little bit more of a boring video about naming, naming ketone ester, all the different names that can be used because I've gotten a few inquiries saying, oh, but is it the same as this ester? Oh, the name you know, looks different than this. So I want to go into that. So the umbrella category for all of these ketone drinks is exogenous ketones. Even MCT oil, many can argue, is a type of exogenous ketones because you drink it externally and then it goes to your liver and makes beta hydroxybutyrate that's how the mct works with the ketone ester uh, it is a subset of exogenous ketones along with ketone salts or ketone free acid um, and within ketone ester you can also call it there's two different types that are widely available or not widely available but widely known only one is commercially available within ketone ester there's the ketone monoester and then the ketone diester. So making it a little bit more specific to the type of ketone ester it is, it could have wildly different you know, results. And one isn't necessarily better, they're just different. So the ketone diester, real quickly, is acetoacetate, so it's called ACAC, -AC, acetoacetate with racemic, but it can be non-racemic, one, which we'll go into in a second, one, three butane diol. So that's, they call that a diester because uh, acetoacetate has four carbons and it bonds in to two of the carbons. The 1,3-butanediol bonds to two of the carbons, so it's called a diester. The ketone. So when someone's talking about the ketone ester and they want to quickly differentiate that from this diester, commonly used by Patrick Arnold and Dominic D'Agostino, they did one paper that showed impaired performance, but a lot of it was because the athletes got sick, so that doesn't really that doesn't really count. Um, so they use ketone monoester and ketone diester to like quickly, that's the shortest names that can be used to kind of differentiate the two. Um, other names for the ketone ester that we're talking about, the monoester, is also the Veach ester. So Dr. Richard Veach, he's the one at NIH for 40 years that worked on this and developed this. So it's nicknamed the Veach ester, you know, amongst insider circles. So you instantly know exactly which molecule. On our bottle, we put D-beta-hydroxybutyrate. D13-butanediol. So it's an ester bond of these two molecules. And the D-beta-hydroxybutyrate, so the D, let's talk about that. That has to do with chirality. Um, some people refer to it as a left hand or right hand glove and how that works with your system. Your body can only uh, recognize one of them and can only use one of them for energy. So sometimes it's the D form, like D-ribose. Sometimes it's the L form, like L-tryptophan. One isn't necessarily better than the other. It's just which one does your body use? And I have a completely separate uh, video on that, ketonaid.com slash salts. Um, so you can learn about ketone salts versus ketone ester and learn about that racemic stuff. So the, the D and the L form are in the same uh, system. L is the one for the ketones that doesn't work and the D form is the one that does work. But then there's also this other system, just to make things more confusing, R and S. R is the form that is the same as the D form. They can be used interchangeably. Sometimes certain molecules, you know, they use the D. Sometimes they use the, the R. They can be used interchangeably. So even the D-beta-hydroxybutyrate, D-1,3-butanediol, sometimes it's referred to as D-beta-hydroxybutyrate, R-1,3-butanediol. So that's someone that's trying to be, you know, a little bit fancier, saying, well, technically, 1,3-butanediol, you know, should be in the R family, you know, for whatever scientific reason. Another uh, more complicated, the next level of complexity in the naming is R3-hydroxybutyl, R3-hydroxybutyrate. So when we supplied a clinical trial in Ireland with our product, they actually used two references in the paper. One, they used this R3-hydroxybutyl, R3-hydroxybutyrate ketone monoester, referring to uh, our supplied ketone ester. But then they also called it r BHB R13-butanediol ketone ester. So they didn't even use the monoester. And then they condensed the R, uh, the R beta hydroxybutyrate. They condensed that to R BHB. BHB stands for beta hydroxybutyrate. And R is the form that the body uses. So some people use even D BHB ester, which is more confusing because that's not being. Uh, it's not giving enough information. It's D-beta-hydroxybutyrate attached to what? It's just an ester. It could be attached to you know multiple things. So that one is a little bit, uh, someone trying to shortcut it a little bit too much. 
Um, and then, like I said in the paper, they have R, BHB, R, 1, 3, butane dial. Um, and the, the R3 hydroxybutyl, R3 hydroxybutyrate, the hydro hydroxybutyrates uh, have flipped. So sometimes it's named at the front, sometimes it's named here in, in the back. And with the 1, 3 butane dial, they drastically change that name. Instead of 1, 3 butane dial, they call it R3 hydroxybutyl. And the 3 stands for the third carbon. That's where it's attached at the third carbon. So it's even more hyper technical. And then within 1, 3 butane dial, specifically R, it can also be referred to as 1, 3 butylene glycol. It can be referred to as butane 1, 3 dial or 1,3-dihydroxybutane. So all these different names, I know it's super confusing, um, but the ketone ester that, that we have is, you know, the main ketone ester that 90% of the ketone papers, you know, have been written about. It is that exact molecule that is super, super difficult to make. Unlike the ketone salts, you can buy them from China, 20 bucks a kilo and slap a thousand dollar price tag on them. So. So that's it. Those are the different types of you know ketone, ketone ester, ketone monoester, all those different names. Sorry if that bored you, but there are going to be certain technical people that are looking to do clinical trials that really want to understand you know these nuances, and they might Google search it and come across this. Thanks.